Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, wanted to follow up the video I had recently on the SU25BM. Uh, I finally um, unlocked more modifications for my MiG-29 and I haven't done a video on it since then. So I wanted to kind of show my experience of what it's like uh, now that I've gotten more of those nice modifications unlocked. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set a 20 minute fuel. This plane, like I've said before, guzzles a lot of fuel. I have the R60Ms as well as the R27ER for extended range. And these missiles are absolutely amazing in their ability to connect to targets. They switch. So I have my my selection key. I usually fire out um, between seven to less than seven kilometers, and you can see they're pretty much a guaranteed hit. Just gotta line up your nose. I think we're too close now to hit this target, and I wasn't paying attention. I'll, I'll come back in with a backup. I was in the middle of talking and we need to be more aware. But AIM-7s are still a threat. Uh, it's gonna switch directions, we'll see if we can connect there. Here we go. Oh, we just missed. Okay, our teammate got him. be able to take out this F4S. Uh, he's within enough range that we should be able to get him. Here we go. And we got him. So now we're going to disengage. I don't want to get slapped again by an AIM-7. So we will reposition ourselves. The R60Ms are good if you are in the middle of, you know, a ton of enemies and you want to get something off heat seeker wise otherwise. Um, it's best to jettison them to get your radar missiles back. So I have a jettison key, I just dumped them there. Um, and I'm gonna get, let my missiles just reload to be ready. Definitely wanna get this player that got me last time. I just gotta be ready. Um, we have still a good amount of fuel. I haven't been sitting on the afterburner. Uh, if I do, I will burn through that fuel reserve pretty quickly. You can see I have my helmet mounted display mode enabled on the radar right now, so wherever my mouse looks, I'm able to have it sweep based on where my mouse cursor is on these four green dots. So we're almost ready with our next load of missiles, and you can see I'm playing a little defensively. I'm not going to run right into the middle of the fight because this plane has good as it turns, you have to spend time to regain that speed back, and that is dangerous uh, if you're not um, ready against your enemies. So here we're going to try, he's going to go behind the mountain possibly, let's see if he comes back up. Yeah, he went behind the mountain, okay, he ended up hitting the, the edge of the mountain there. We'll go for this F4EJ here. I'd have trouble locking him up, so let's go for this one. 27, got him. Preemptively flaring here, I see that A-10 behind me, I want to be ready. There's that F-4EJ again, I see a missile coming, I'm gonna position myself behind this mountain just to get a little bit of coverage from the radar. Doing a good job with his countermeasures. Going way too fast there. Uh, there's that same F4EJ here. Let's see if we get him here. Nope. Keep my speed as much as I can here. Someone else got him. Got that prop the approach there. Get this Yak 3. Their team is pretty much dead. I see that missile coming in from the SU 22. Gonna 
pop a couple of countermeasures there. So a little bit better after being more aware, you do have to be constantly aware. F5. Got a hit on him. A little bit of negative G there so I don't black out in the turn. Close range R60M should be able to get him. There he goes. Within a kilometer, you should have a good chance of hitting him, unless they're dumping a ton of flares and they're not hitting their afterburner. But let's do another one with the extended range and show a little bit more for the battles. But it's pretty enjoyable. Just don't rush in all the way to the enemy spawn and just loiter there too long because someone is going to end up firing a ton of missiles at you and that's going to make it hard to dodge because after the first couple of hard turns you're going to be out of your speed and energy and you're going to need to straighten out to get the speed back or dive down to get the speed back and and when you're not doing those evasive maneuvers missiles are going to be easier to hit you so pause it here until the next game um, I, can actually, I guess I will look at the other modifications left so I'm almost done with my fire system here to help put out fires and then I still need a couple more um, modifications left on these columns here. There we go, we ended up finding another game. And I haven't seen as much SU-25BM spam now, maybe people react or learn quicker after getting those planes but okay there's one here it's only like one on this game let's take a look here there's one here see so only the one plane that they've brought to the battle I have it in my lineup there's one more here so we'll go ahead and again equip our MiG-29. We're gonna switch our radar, so Y16 to our ACM PD mode, or you can go to helmet mounted display PD. Um, and no F-14s right now. That F-4S looks good. the one up here looks better since he's at the top of his climb there it's going to take him some time to build the speed back up uh, he did a good job of dodging there but now that he's maneuvered he's slow yeah you can't dodge the second one after that steep dive and pulling up okay so that next ripe target is going to be the F-16 oh man <laughs> Came 9L from a A10. That's too bad. Well, I don't have any more backups, so I'll come in with my MiG-23 and we'll finish out this recording. I really didn't think I was that close, but we're going to use our R24T um, and see if we can pick up a target here. So I'm going to wait until that missile is far enough away from the enemy. Let's see. Good, that got him. So people sometimes don't realize the lethality of the R24T. Okay, he did a good job of flaring, so um, he was pretty aware there. Within a kilometer here, or more like two kilometers, got him there. F8, good job there. I was inverted and I was like way too quick there. Let's reposition here. I'd say the F8, F8, F80 here is not going to be able to dodge that missile with the uh, performance that it has. Tail 
was hit. F5C did a good job. <laughs> Pilot hit the ground, that's funny. Come back in with our MiG-23M, and then we'll bring our SU-25BM in. It would have been nice to get the uh, kill on the SU-25, but um, since they tank a lot of damage, the te our teammate was able to finish them off. That wasn't going to line up, especially with the way the target sort of disappeared right in front of me. Sometimes that's been happening lately, and I don't know why that happens, but let's see if this connects. Yep, he wasn't aware. That F-105, there it is. I'm going to try to go for him, because he doesn't have any flares. Get a little closer here. That F5 is not paying attention. Yeah, we got a crit on him. F105 should be dead as well. Yep. F5 is still alive right now. Can we connect here? Yeah, finished him off. Okay. This. MiG-23 around our spawn is definitely a nuisance, so let's see what we can do here. Our teammate got him. There's the F-14. So we want to be aware I see missiles coming. So we wanted to be ready just to get out of range there. I don't know if that yeah, the mountain is going to be in the way. Okay, we got three countermeasures left, so we want to since we only carry about six, we want to be ready. I'm gonna wait till I have my missiles back, so I'm armed a little better than just my guns. F3 has no countermeasures, so again, the airplanes that you can identify right off the bat that don't have countermeasures are gonna be the easier ones to go for. F4S has good missiles and can, you know, put some damage into our team. So let's be ready for that as well. Too close. I'm trying to see which position he's going. That this will get him. Or not. Finished him with the guns. Okay, we have another R23T, and we have a decent range on it, so let's see what we can do. Depending on the yeah, that'll work on the F3. Maybe. Nope. Oh, he's hiding behind the mountain. Well done. There. We'll get him back here now. Unless the A10 finishes him off. Yep, A10 got him. Let's see if we get the Harrier here. Got him. And... F104. Unless it's the German one, it shouldn't have any countermeasures. MiG-29 is a bigger threat, actually, so let's keep an eye on this. And he's actively dropping some countermeasures, which is smart by him. To keep um, people from locking him up. But all of those turns are at the expense of energy. So we got him there, he's on fire, and he's going to hopefully burn to death now. Missed. The angle was uh, really, really bad there, and our radar is shot out. I have one missile left when we finish off this guy. And our MiG-29, unfortunately, got robbed 
but like I said, it's fair game until you know the enemy is finished off. If we were positioned better, we could have um, maybe shot the MiG-29 down all the way, but there was two, three other enemies around and it didn't make any sense to focus there when they're right there to be able to shoot me. Couldn't finish off the other enemy we were looking at, that F5 ended up getting us while we were damaged pretty badly, but not a bad score right now. So the game's almost over now. We can probably go for this MiG-21 if we can fly there in time. I think it's just a couple more ground targets and, and it's going to end the round for us. Warming up our missile here and we're going to launch right now. Missed. Um, he got his missile off right after I'd already launched mine, and that's kind of one thing I'd shown before. But we got him with our guns. So here, let's try to get this 104. Should we be able to get him there? I got a crit on him. And I don't know if he has the ability to pull up, but um, well, we got to kill assist. As usual, that player is um, just farming whatever crits we put in, but it's okay. It's part of arcade. I'm not going to loiter over their airfield because that's just asking to get lit on fire by their anti-aircraft guns or getting crit in a weird way but we can be on this side of the mountain and try to get some shots off here and not a bad second game with the MiG-29 and the MiG-23 so we'll uh, end the recording here um, Definitely a more defensive play style with the MiG-29. You don't have the advantage of as many missiles as the F-14 and F-16s. I guess F-16 and the MiG-29 would be similarly matched with the way they have their loadouts. The F-4s and the F-14s just have the advantage of more missiles. So, till next time, I believe there's a teaser that there's another variant of the MiG-29 that's going to be coming out in the next major update, so it'll be interesting to see uh, if that's true and what that means for the Russian tree where it's going to slot in maybe right down here right after this MiG-29 unless it's a premium but we'll take a look and see when it does come out until next time uh, thanks for watching